smear the blood. What is this? You were right, Cicero. Your theory that the Fey were made of the mist was correct, but I've spent the past few days distilling it. Look at how bestial it is. There is no sense of order about it whatsoever. Now, look at this. It's inquisitive. And I spilt no blood. How? You were right about the mists. They are the building blocks of the Fey. Places with a higher density of the mist have more Fey, but what you mistook was the trigger. Not blood, clearly. It's... Oh, how do I put this? Emotion is a close approximate. I don't think our language has an equivalent. It's, um, a state of mind. It's an experience. It's a... Shite. Yes, exactly. What's that? Shite. It was something the Dementicate were trained to manipulate as they matured. Though we've never learnt what for. It roughly translates to different mediums of thought, of being. It's... it's difficult to explain. You're saying that various shite create various fey. Yes. Pain is easy to replicate, and the fey that that produces seems base. But this one... What were you thinking of? The first day that I was a Vegilus. Walking into the Conoscenza, seeing all the knowledge that was at my fingertips. And different states, feelings, thoughts, create different fey? If there is enough mist in the vicinity, yes. I haven't boiled it down to a science yet, but it's definitely on the way there. Well, this is more than enough. Thank you, Kyrie. Of course. Rest well, Cicero.
Two stops. The first, the Estiguary. We'll be dropping Amadea and Vasco off there. Then we'll head to the Hall of Songs. All right, sir. And that, brother, is the history of the Terald family, from the start to their gory demise. Brother? Are you asleep? Hey! Seven canticle to coins and kin. Oh, brother. Don't be too harsh on him, Elena. It's been a tiring few days. I know, I know. I should be back soon with the Mariner. We'll be here. Thank you. 
I apologize. Did I interrupt something? <laughs> Venera, you may leave us. I will be in good company with the Inspitore. Come, Cicero, have a seat, please. I can hear an ache in your voice. Were you in the middle of a composition? I was, in fact, for the Eighth Canticle. So soon? The canticle hasn't even been declared over. I know, but this is the last year of this canticle's 15th Masura. If anything is to happen in the coming months that should spell the end of the canticle, I'd like to at least be prepared. Composing a song that chronicles 60 years' worth of events is not something that one does in an evening. But there is something on your mind, isn't there? I can hear the ripples of unease in your words. It's just... How do you do it, Mirabas? Well, first, you have to look at all the major events that take... I mean carrying such a responsibility. A whole society rides upon this hall. Your hall. How do you handle something like that? When I lost my eyes... Some 28 years ago. Do you know what I missed the most during the years after? The faces of the dozens of handsome men that threw themselves at your feet? <laughs> oh no, Cicero. There were only seven that did that. No. I missed seeing smiles. Of all the years that I've been a songstress, those were the hardest. But you pulled through them. I drifted more accurately. In a situation like that, can someone truly ever know what direction to head in? I thought about it, day and night, about how I could make myself feel the way I did before. 
How I could find that passion that I had lost along with my sight. And you found your answer? No. My answer found me, I'd say. It came from a small boy who had been ambushed by thugs outside this very hall and had been screaming for help. <laughs> and you rushed out, blind as you were, masquerine on your face, and you sang. Mm. And sing I did, with all the strength in my bones. The flames that roared that night. Ages. I still remember the look on their faces. <laughs> I scooped the little boy up and brought him into this hall. On our way in, he whispered a little something in my ear. Do you remember what he said? Thank you. And you're very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so he did. So he did. And that was the first time that I realized that you don't need to see a smile. You can just as easily hear it. Thank you, Mirabas. It was nice to hear that story again. But that was not the answer that you were looking for, was it? In all honesty, I don't even know what I'm looking for. But that's enough sullenness. I'm here for a mariner, Calden. I think he might have just had a song sung. He did, in fact. Razatov Azrus. A tragedy. He was such a sweet man. He'd been visiting the hall quite frequently over the past few months. Razatov? Whatever for? The Zoric culture across the sea believes that a person can sense when their time is up. They tend to try to tie up as many loose ends in the world as they can. He had me help him put a song into a chime, specifically for his brother, telling me to hand it to him in case... this happened. It's like he knew. Hmm... And the Mariner is somewhere on the tree? Yes. At his legacy's branch. Then that's where I'll be. Thank you for the story again, Mirabas. Vint? Sir? How's he holding up? You should talk to him. I think he'd like that.
composed this himself. He came by and asked Mirabas to help him put it into this chime. Did he know? Your brother was no fool. Then why? Why chase a storm and rough seas? Because he felt that he had to. He never told anyone this. But he harbored a religion. A Sharmu. An Elysian religion. He liked to believe that there was an afterlife. A promised land that we'd go to after we passed. I heard it in the last verse of the song. I want so badly to believe that he's right. A ray of light in a sea of shadows. A source of hope in a mire of despair. I think he would have liked to be remembered that way. If my brother felt that he needed to do this, to find these artifacts, then we must. And so we will. And as I guessed, the Judge Master has no wishes to act. Not yet. Well, he'll have to keep waiting, won't he? We don't have any leads. What about the Golden Canvas? The Portieri have searched it already. Nothing. And my brother's work? Is there anything we can follow up on? Nothing that hasn't already been checked out. We still don't know why he was creating Fey, but... Unfortunately, I don't know if we'll ever find out now. <sighs> it's true. Razatov's death has staunched the flow of the investigation. All the answers in his mind... Now lost. But that can't be it. There has to be more to this. Just a day ago, you had a gaze that could turn your victims to stone. Well, some lessons can be learnt in a day. It's late. We should get some rest. What about our next step? We'll convene tomorrow morning. Hopefully we'll have more ideas then. has been rather quiet. Oh, Cicero. Yes? Cicero! Is this something I should be hearing? Basco was telling me about what happened to the Golden Canvas. I'd been wondering what all the ruckus was about. You and your family got out safely, though? Barely. Livia and Damien have gone to bed. They're not used to such... excitement. But enough about our escape. I heard you weren't so lucky. No, I wasn't. What happened in there, Cicero? Nothing, then. I'm just... tired. Then you should be heading to bed now. No more than any of you. Ah, you're right. Just one more drink then, and I'll be off. Should you need me? Thank you. Good night, Mariner. Raz? She told me about her father. Said she knew how it felt to lose someone close. Too common an experience in this city. She might be a little rigid, but she isn't half as bad as I'd first thought. Neither is Vasco, actually. <laughs> People have always said us Umbrians hide behind masks and facades. But perhaps not all masks are worn to hide dark secrets. Go to bed, Calvin. It's late.
were supposed to be resting. I don't get it. What? Razatov was in search of the artifacts. Artifacts that turned the Dementicate into masquerines. So? They. How do they fit into all this? Why was Razatov creating them? What do they have to do with the artifacts? Amadea. We're missing something, Cicero, and if I could just... Amadea. It's been a long day. We're so close to... something. I can feel it. Teetering on the precipice of change. Rather dramatic? It's just like five years ago, when I thought Cyrus would... You're right. It's been a long day. I'll finish up here soon and go to bed. Amadea? I promise. Good night, Cicero. I'm sorry. There, there. I'm going out for a short ride, all right? Nothing to make a fuss over. Who's there? You heard that, didn't you? I'm not crazy. Now, oh, let's go. All right. Where have you been hiding? Thank you. 
for the gold to veer from the storm front.
Ready yourself! Too bad. Now, all right, bad, but manageable, as long as... Oh, come on!
need help. Are you following me? Ah, the quiet types, I see. Well, I look forward to some deep conversation then. Come on, let's go. Thank you. 